So you pulled Soldier 11 and you're not sure what you should do to use her properly. Fear not, this guide right here will be the guide you need to get started to learn how to use Soldier 11 properly. Now, the team I have right now for her, I would say is a pretty good budget team. It's Soldier 11, Ben, Lucy. Lucy, you can get from the shop. You can get her for free. You don't have to spend anything for her. You can get her because you got pulls. Now granted, you can use those pulls. You can use those signal shop uh, points to go get pulls. But if you're really feeling yourself, you want a fire team, this is what you want to go for. You can get Lucy from the shop. Actually, let me show you how you can do that before we even move on here. You go into the signal shop uh, area right here, like you're going to summon. Go into the signal shop. You can see it. I already got Lucy sold out because I really wanted her. I did end up pulling for her, so it like it ended up working out, but it wasn't looking too good for me, fam. So, oh, would you look at that? And I can pull again. But anyway, the point I'm trying to make, you can get her for free if you're pulling enough times, okay? I wouldn't recommend getting Billy. You already have Billy. Uh, Lucy is a really good fire user to get, so just keep that in mind. Now, going back to where I was at, that I actually have to go and reset my face. The team that I recommend, Lucy... Soldier 11 and Ben. Ironically enough, if you don't have any other S tier. And the reason why we're doing this kind of loadout right here is because it's she, they all benefit each other in a specific way. But I will I'll explain all of this in the intermediate section. This right here though, just know that this right now, I feel like it's the best way you can set up a team uh, if you have a support character for that element. All right, we are here. I'm going to do the same thing I normally do. Set it to Fabuti, level 30. That is the normal thing we do. I'm going to disable the moving enemies this time around. And we're just going to look at Soldier 11. We're going to look at her basic stats like we did the last time. Uh, like I said, you can look through her basic attacks and that can also help you use her. But that I feel like that doesn't tell you how to play her properly. What I feel like tells you how to play these characters properly is the skill info because not only does it tell you how many attacks and what it does you can also turn on the stats to look at the actual damage amounts the damage numbers that you need to be doing to actually uh you know determine what is worth using so for soldier we're not going to turn on all the stats we're going to do that in the intermediate section we're just going to look at all her basic attacks first and so with characters that you pull you would think that pressing the attack pressing the skill and then going into your ultimate is like just the way to play them but this game has introduced new ways for you to play the game and so what is robust combat system it allows you to do stuff like this and switch out while still having this high damage building up your energy everything you need to be able to have uh high damage in your rotations now the thing that i like about soldier 11 is the fact that if you press just right which i feel like it's just half a second it's like almost immediately after you click or after the animation ends like that that's how you do that almost immediately after the animation ends you hit you click it again and you'll get the flame effect now this is what you're always going to be getting like 24 7 i'm not gonna lie there should be no reason like realistically unless you're doing dash attacks why you're not getting the flame attack that is her main thing this is what you get for pulling soldier 11 this is the bonus you get you get to do fire damage at will fire is at your command think of yourself as zuko with one hand for some reason just just roll with it so with that being the case you're you're just doing crazy anomaly damage we talked about anomaly damage in the last video with nicole and it, i mean she's just building it up for doing basically nothing and what is she doing as she's building it up? She's also getting energy for just doing nothing. Okay, this is the most basic way you can build up energy. Now, I'm not going to switch out. I'm just wanting to show you how she can build up energy. Now, that's just like small fire damage right there. That's without switching out. That's what she can do alone, just doing those clicks consistently. So, you know uh, where she kind of stops at. And that's without me having any um, equipment on her. Any real like crazy equipment on her. This is kind of like where she's at like base wise so when you get her kind of built up there you start being able to use her e skill which is her ex special attack now without her e it's not bad 
it still does what you want it to do. But you can noticeably see the difference in the damage. 77, 115. All right, he's burning now. That's great. I'm not gonna lie. But let me build up her um, energy real quick and I'll show you the difference in the damage right there. So you saw 77, 105. That did almost 2k if it did a little bit higher crit 1.5k just for pressing e why because every time you press e she's doing flat flame damage flat flame damage she her her damage multiplier is insane look at this compared to her normal special attack special attack 71 percent 71.8 percent so we can kind of say just 72 percent when you have the energy 920 920 that we're not talking about the day she's not a stun character she's not ambi she's doing 920 percent extra damage just for having energy okay that is absurd that's absolutely insane and then even crazier after you activate it you don't have to time your attacks anymore it's just on fire all your attacks are on fire after you activate that. It is so free. You get the switch in. Boom. Switch back into her. She's getting energy. Burn. Crazy. And this team right here is just doing exactly what you want it to do. A lot of damage. A lot. Just absurd damage for no reason. Everybody's doing burst damage. So that that's the benefit of using the enhanced version. The EX special skill of uh, Soldier 11. Uh, it just basically negates the skill check of just pressing it normally. Now, I believe pressing it normally, you still get the damage multiplier, but as you can see, it's not as high. 75% in comparison to 47. Uh, you're basically doing special attack damage at that point. You know what I'm saying? Which isn't... It, it's not that great. You're better off just pressing your freaking normal button at that point. But I think what you press this for is to try and build up some damage, try and keep your combo going up. But... Soldier 11 really is one of the few characters I feel like that benefits from just being able to to use her basic attack consistently because it's it just it has more damage overall. Everything she does has more damage overall. You start doing fire suppression, has more damage overall. And then once you start having EX uh skill applied to it, just doing a butt ton of damage overall. It just it's building up to just a forest fire essentially like it's insane yes her dash attack has some flame damage it's nothing too crazy 93 percent multiplier again you'd probably be better off doing that than doing her special attack just because it's just that good if you can time it properly i think you can still get the flame effect if you time it properly but i haven't actually done it I got kind of sidetracked there, but that's the main thing that I want to be doing so, uh, doing with Soldier. I want to be doing anomaly damage while I'm attacking you. And the, the times I'm not doing anomaly damage while attacking you, it feels like you're at a detriment. You're actually putting yourself at a worse spot if you, if you were not using your elemental damage than if you were just using your elemental damage. So, fire suppression, yes, it allows you to use uh, the dash attack would i use it often now that's a bit more of a hard conversation i don't if there's a way you can time it and i'm just not finding out about it then what i'm saying her utility goes through the roof but if it's like some like crazy you have to be like frame perfect to even get it to work consistently i don't see it i see her like being like midway kind of good because she's she's doing fire damage consistently but she there's always going to be like a one spot where she's stopping and that's where you have to call somebody else to do some help or to help her out because she can't do it herself but let's look at her assists uh the defensive damage that she has from the assist hold the line is pretty good the follow-up is pretty good 410 or 418 damage with fire damage uh, applied to it really good stuff so you can switch to her uh if lucy's in trouble or if whatever your first person's in trouble you can switch to her and she will be doing fire damage almost immediately and you can go switch out or not switch out but switch into her doing fire damage and immediately start doing basic hits into fire damage or immediately go into uh fervent fire which gives you uh suppression 
fire suppression which allows you to get just free fire damage consistently and then switch into Ben get some fire damage there and you're just good to go uh, the chain attack here when the chain attack is triggered you get to select your character we already know how that goes dealing massive fire damage which is good let's see what massive fire damage is uh, it's 690 percent so that is massive damage not gonna lie and then again after she uses it she triggers fire suppression so maybe you don't want to be having her up front too often you just want to be chain attacking with her as much as possible if fire gets a stun character i'm sure she would be benefiting a lot from this from chain attacks because she's able to just consistently do flame damage and that is exactly what soldier 11 wants to do that is exactly where she shines doing that flame damage at every point so right now i feel like she doesn't she's not where you want to see her at in general because this is just open-ended you get what i'm saying because it's so open-ended i feel like uh she has a spot right now she has a spot where you can make her work but it's kind of difficult because fire suppression after every chain attack guys she can do it eight times i don't know what eight times means like does it stack eight times but regardless of the fact the fact that she can do it consistently is insane and then you have her core skills when triggering fire suppression during a basic attack increase that damage by 46 percent 46.6 percent you can go ahead and bump that up round that up to about a 47 uh, percent uh, additional ability fields of fire when another character in your squad shares the same attribute you deal 10 percent more fire damage great when attacking stun enemies this effect is further enhanced by an additional 22.5 and again, this goes back to what I was saying to where if you had a stun character, she would be able to benefit off all of this stuff immensely. The issue right now, I feel like, though, is the fact that she just she's the only person that's doing what she's doing in the fire uh, department. We do have a fire attacker. Yes, but the fire attackers do not build up days the way you'd like them to. So what you end up having is just stuff like this. You're building up anomaly. That's cool. Yep, yeah, for free, for free. You can do your E, and I'm pretty sure that's still doing flame damage. Not as much as you'd like. Uh, switch out. Lucy doing her stuff. Switch into her. Boom, more flame damage. And we're back in, doing more flame damage. Crazy. And then we saw how much this does massive, massive flame damage into 3.1k. This is really good stuff. Lucy helps out immensely as well. You see them doing damage in the back without me actually doing anything. So, you know, it just keeps the combos going. Keeps keeps the momentum up, I would say. At, it's not giving me any decibels. I don't think it does. Even when I have Lucy out, it doesn't give me any decibels. But the fact that it's doing extra damage is really nice. So, all together, you're just doing a lot of damage regardless of if the decibel is going up or not. It's like you're breaking the decibel meter without it even showing that but this is uh the beginner guide for soldier 11 there isn't too much i would say she's pretty simple when it comes down to it you just use her uh basic attack to try to time it as well as you can uh the moment you get that ex skill use that because that makes her almost completely free <laughs> completely free all this damage is free even the dash attack is free but uh, you can only get that one loop. Um, I don't know if with multiple copies you can uh, do more attacks with her. It's a good thing we get to look right here. So uh, let's see. When Soldier 11 enters combat, she switches in. If her energy is less than 40, her energy is recovered. So that just goes to show that right there, every time she comes in, almost every minute, she's always doing immense fire damage if you pull multiple copies of her. Again, really good stuff. I don't think you need to get her to see one to even benefit off of that. I think she's really good by herself the moment she even like activates fire suppression. But seeing all of this go up is great. When triggering fire suppression, uh, the damage increases by 3% up to 12 stacks for 15 seconds. That's insane. And then C6, she ignores fire resistance, which is insane. That's just insane. But yeah, the utility of Soldier 11, I feel like it will be when... It'll, it'll shine a bit more when we have more characters in the flame department. Where she'll 
show how useful she is but right now i because it's not too many flame areas i believe you're probably not going to be seeing utility for her as much even if you do pull for her the way you would with somebody like uh ellen vaughn you know what i'm saying any of those like the ice teams the electric teams i feel like flame and ether right now are just really weak and you know you kind of have to be in it for the long haul if you're pulling for characters like these but that's just going to be it for the beginner guide like i said i'm going to move into the intermediate section where we will be talking about how to weave in uh soldier 11 with the team that i just presented here and that will be that will be it that will be it that <laughs>